はいはい Citations fellow beings Greetings 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 Happy Wednesday Thursday wherever you may be chiming in from Mm. Mm. We'll be playing with some cards tonight. So stick around. Peace. Peace indeed. Peace and prosperity. Mm. <laughs>、um, yeah, hi. My name is Gavin, in case you did not know. Greetings. At least that's the name of this body according to the birth certificate. You can also call me Zen if that's easier to remember. This is a chosen name. Welcome to In Zen. Tonight we will be doing readings. Greetings, greetings, greetings. How you be? How you been? Where are you coming from, my friend?、Mm. Check this out. A little amethyst on the cork with a candle. My friend Leanne makes these. We'll be beginning this evening with lighting a candle. To maybe allow yourself to set an intention. Anything that you'd like to tune into, a energy or frequency you'd like to return to, root into this evening. Anything you'd like to release with the flame as we light the candle. You're welcome to do so. Excuse me.、Um, yeah, stick around for a little bit, get yourself a snack, some water. We'll be doing some readings. Before we begin, we'll light this. So, if you want to stick around for that, watch this. We got the one of my favorite lighters from the Peach Fuzz Company.、It、says, When they go low, we go high. Yes. Godspeed, you beautiful beings. And let us alight. Set your attention to focus if you wish. You will move with it. Pardon if the cars from the window open are too loud. I want to have the breeze this eve.、Mm. We got this. Smelling the wax, but have yet to light the candle. Silly. We'll get there. Maybe we've got to ground a little bit.、Mm, let's start with a cleansing breath, <laughs> a clearing breath. I've drank a lot of coffee today. Let me tune into the energies of this space. Welcome, Walmart Sandwich. Good to see a familiar name. Welcome, anybody else returning who I've yet to see. Maybe I need a wick of sorts. <clears throat> the container of the glass jar isn't a fan of this lighter. I know what I can do. Oh, that's hot. I can extend the lighter. Look at this guy. Taking too long. Shouldn't be that difficult. Oops. Too much. What I was going for. See, it's a case. Just to slightly take off the case so that it extends. So that I can reach into this better. Silly boy. And just like that, I hope you have your attention set because we are flowing. We are lit in a flame. The candle says, Hey, hi, how's it going? Now I'll、we'll、have to find a way to get this back down. I got an idea. Look at that. Oh, magicians out here. Cheers to you, my dudes. Thank you for being here this evening. We'll start with a general reading to ask you, answer your question, Wispy. We'll start with a general reading and then we'll be doing individual readings. If anyone would like a specific reading, particularly to them, you can drop a donation to my Cash App or my Venmo, Gavin Zen. G A V I N Z E N. Also, PayPal. Both are, all of those are in the bio. If you didn't get that, I'll be repeating it as well. But we can build a queue now. We'll start with random, excuse me, we'll start with a general reading for everybody and then. We will do random number generator readings,、uh, general readings, if no one jumps in queue via donations. 
So yeah, let's flow with it. Um, this evening, we will be doing readings of three cards. And if you'd like a reading for yourself, whether it be like regarding any topic of interest or specific question, you're more than welcome to drop the donation to Gavin Zen. Cash out with Venmo. We're playing with the Wait Tarot Smith deck tonight. Traditional classic cards. But yeah, before we begin, I'd just like to say what's up, my friends, fellow beings, people tuning in this evening, morning, wherever you may be. Readings are simply $5.55. Brianne just jumped in, so I got your donation, my dude. You will be first on the queue, um, then we'll keep moving forward. Um, but before I, you know, start, I want to shuffle a little bit, and uh, we, we, will, we will get to it. We will get to it. Greetings from Maine. Greetings from Maine. Hey, I have a question for you today. Um, everybody here in this chat right now. Uh, if you could be any animal besides human being, what would you be? Scooby Poo. Sweet, my dude. We'll do the general reading, so everybody who wants to jump in queue, you can, uh, you can do so. You can do so. You can jump in queue by dropping a donation. We're gonna do a general reading, and then we will get to everybody, and you know, it's first come, first serve, so we'll start with the order in which the donations come in. Cash App, Venmo, Gav, and Zen. Ooh, look at these cards jumping out. Cash App, Venmo, Gav, and Zen. All that's in the bio if you didn't, if you didn't get it. That's just a little tease for this evening. We're gonna keep shuffling. I'm going to read these comments because a fair amount of you uh, have commented, and I, I'd like to see what's up. Eagle, maned wolf, panther, wolf. i got a fair amount of wolves in here. Dolphin, alrighty. Is there going to be a pack of wolves? A liger, I love it. I love it. Shouts out Napoleon Dynamite. Orca, alright. Lion, frog, horse, eagle. Beautiful animals, beautiful animals. Keep them coming. <clears throat> Butterflies count. Definitely a bird. What kind of bird? Alrighty. Peacock, falcon, tiger. Alright, I don't want to keep y'all waiting, so I'm just going to keep shuffling. And uh, we're going to start with a general reading. So this is everybody here. Shouts out to 222 people. Mm. In the room. Get to it. Thanks for the shares. Thanks for the follows and the likes. Good to see everybody tonight. General reading, two cards in the root. What is the message we wish to communicate to you? Let us step out of the way and speak with clarity, honesty, ease, transparency. Moving forward. Two cards and a root for the collective, my dudes. I'm gonna cut the deck. Clear the energy and draw two. I don't know if you saw, but these two also fell out. So we're gonna have a four card reading for the collective. We'll start with the general reading, what jumped out. Everybody, we have the Six of Cups. Seven. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. Then the root, the Seven of Cups. So the way that we do this, the two cards are drawn, are the sort of the message. The root card is the card at the bottom of the deck. These are from the top of the deck, this is from the bottom. And this card, from the root, connects these two, the messages. Then if anything falls out while we're shuffling, those are just bonus. We have the moon, and we have the king of swords. We have the moon and the king of swords who jumped out when we we're shuffling. So first and foremost with the six of cups here, showing social aspects, connection with your fellow beings, your fellow reflections. So this is the energy I'm feeling right now with everybody here, sharing this virtual space. We're still connecting, socializing. It's so beautiful that we have spaces where we can't connect and, and it is our, my responsibility to create more spaces like this so that more people can connect safely and enjoy themselves. <clears throat> Six of Cups, I'm very much getting this energy right now. At the same time, 
Seven of Wands shows that, you know, there, this will take a challenge. It will feel like you may be having to defend your space. You might feel like people project all of their whatever onto your areas. And so it's very important to hold your ground, stay true to yourself, commit to your core, to your practice, to your truth, to your heart, stay in tune with you, your spirit, especially the moon here energy, very much emblematic and archetypal of your spirit, your soul connection, who you are as a person, that you have a purpose, remembering this, you do have a purpose, you matter, everything you do matters. You don't have to be perfect, but you have a purpose. And the moon is encouraging you to tap into your spirit, to sit back into your body as the witness and learn how to communicate your purpose and express this. Slashing through any limiting beliefs that may be inhibiting you from stepping into your path of greatness. Let's go. Seven of Cups here is just amplifying this as you incur as you continue to step into your truth. Wield your divinity. Hold your divinity. Know that you have it right here in your hands. Wield this. The abundance of the world and all the gifts will just continue to be readily available for you. Just gotta allow yourself to open up to it. And a really big part of it is starting within, doing that internal work, connecting to your spirit. And once you can connect to your spirit, you can then continue to connect with your fellow reflections. Sit back into your body and really practice witnessing, surrendering to the flow. Hold your ground. As the cliche says, as the cliche says, take no shit, do no harm. And that is my concluding message for you, Collective. If you want to catch that on the replay, it'll be up in a couple of days on my YouTube and my bio. Wow, my dudes. Um, that is just a very channeled message, so I'm excited to replay that because that was, um, it went through me. Uh, commercial break, your soul is showing, just in case you forgot. Um, it's always a good to be reminded, the more we can be conscious of this and aware that our soul is showing, the more we can tune into our moon, our spirit, our mission, and that's why we're here, and the message that we came here to communicate today. Um, this is a shirt that I printed myself. I got this at the thrift shop. It just already happened to be cropped. I love it. And you can find these on my website. There's only a couple more in the most recent drop. So that being said, we're going to keep flowing. I'm going to check my phone here and see who dropped the donation because um, we've got to get right to it. I don't want to keep my people waiting. Thank you for being here this evening. Thank you for the likes, and the shares, the comments. And we're going to get right to it. We are going to get right to it. Yeah, how did that resonate, my dudes? I am very curious to see what y'all thought about this, Eve. And, um, yeah, we'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to hear your feedback. As I, as I look at the queue and see who jumped in here, my dudes. My dudes, my dudes. All right. As I said, Brienne's first, then we'll keep moving with it. there let me just write this down real quick i do appreciate y'all for like uh, sending your messages or like writing your question in the comment section of your payment because uh that's really um it helps so i don't have to ask a question in here relay we can get right to it so if you do wish to drop jump in queue and drop a donation you have a specific question go ahead and toss that in um in the comment section and maybe even your uh, username if it's not similar to your name on the app yeah, yeah, thanks, my dudes, and I will read your names back to you, and we will jump in queue, remembering that each reading is rough, um, you know, depends on the context of the reading, of the timing of it, but I won't rush it, I will definitely give you the time, but I also won't take too much time, no more than, um, ten minutes on each reading, no more than seven minutes, seven, ten minutes, uh, but yeah, let's get to it.
let's get to it. Um, I'm just gonna mute uh, this this chick real quick because uh, it's just unnecessary. Alrighty, Jamie Oriente, good to see you, moderator. I wish you could stay on in mod, but I have to go to sleep. Yo, get some rest. I appreciate you being here and just saying what's up. Um, yeah, it's always nice to have um, mods, but it is what it is. We'll get to it. Alrighty, dudes, just so you know, we have a queue, and if you'd like to jump in queue and ask a specific question, you can drop a donation. Cash app, Venmo, Gavin Zen, G-A-V-I-N-Z-E-N, and the link in the bio. Yeah, if you can't find it. Brienne, you're up first. Do you have any specific questions for the cards, Brienne? After Brienne, we have Trevor. After Trevor, we have Lauren. After, L after Lauren, we have Levi. Or Levi, Levi, and after Levi or Levi, I'm saying Levi. We have Laura, Lauren, Levi, Laura. Brianna's is up first. Are you still here? And do you have any questions for the cards, my dude? I'm gonna drink some water and I'm gonna cheers to you. Do not forget. Perfect timing, B. Thank you, my dude, for the reminder. Look at you on the wave. On the wave. Are you Brienne? Don't have funds to pay. Enjoy listening to you. Hope that's okay. Of course it's okay. You don't need to have funds to pay. You can kick it and just hang out. I appreciate you being here. I'm not seeing any comments from Brienne. Um, should we just go with the general reading, or should I just jump to Trevor? Trevor, are you here, and do you have any questions for the cards? Sometimes TikTok acts up and does not share the comments, so I really hope Brienne is here. Thank you for the flowers. And hello, Soul Soul. Yo, hey yo, greetings. B Phillips, I see you. Direction to take with work, I see, okay. Work reading, groovy, we got this. Jennifer asks, oh wait, not you, excuse me. Levi is the correct pronunciation, thank you, cheers. Uh, Boo Boo Kitty asks, how do I get a reading? You can drop a donation to Gavin Zen. Gavin Zen, G-A-V-I-N-Z-E-N. Cash out Venmo. Let's get to it. Okay. <clears throat> Trevor, I see you. We're gonna groove, we're gonna groove, we're gonna groove. Brienne, you are up first. And Brienne would like some occupational work-related readings. Let's get to it. What do the cards have to say regarding your workflow, your energy regarding... your efforts making money in the workplace currently what's happening in non-life direction to take with work that's right to be very specific with the words because it matters Brianne would like to know what direction to take with work cards what do you have to say today cut the deck clear the energy draw two Wow. We have the judgment card here in reverse. We have the wheel of fortune card here in reverse as well. Then we have the four of cups here in reverse. In, re in the root. In the root. Brienne, this is why I love tarot because sometimes I don't give any straight answer. And I feel like from this reading, they're very much clearly kind of being that little tricky little self. And they're saying the judgment is all up to you and what direction you take with work. They're very much encouraging you to sit with this, feel it into your body, ask yourself these questions, the potentials and the possibilities in which you have at the plate today so that you may make the choice that will allow you to move towards your wheel of fortune. I always towards their dreams. That which feels, makes them feel alive in their body. Because why else would you be in a body other than to feel alive? Of course, every day is not necessarily going to feel that way, but the thing that really ignites your heart, not the thing that you're just necessarily told to do. So regarding work, what direction you ought to take, 
whether it be to continue with the operation or maybe switch direction, is in your hands. Remember this, your choice is what's most important, all that matters at the end of the day, your judgment. And these cards all in reverse here are very much telling you to, to integrate this energy into you, your being. This is on the precipice and is really much encouraged to sit with this, whether it be outside under a tree like the card shows, or sleeping with it, asking yourself these questions before you get go to bed and maybe dreaming about it and waking up and having an answer, journaling, the practices that help you come to truth within your body. I just want to give you a little uh, bonus card here underneath the root. We have the Magician card. These are all very powerful cards. The Magician card is very much telling you to just tap into your magic and that what makes you you. Don't get so lost on the title of the occupation. Trust in the abundance of the universe the best that you can. And uh, do your best not to sell your soul. And if you already have, um, buy it back because you can do that. Okie dokie, artichokey. We're going to keep moving if you want to, um, if you would like to rewatch this, you can catch it on my YouTube in like two days or so. Um, I'm curious to hear your feedback, if that resonated or anything, but I wish you clarity with this. And remember that it is your decision at the end of the day. It's all in your hands. No pressure. Trevor, do you have any questions for the cards? If you'd like to jump in queue, you're more than welcome to drop a donation. Gavin Zen, G-A-V-I-N-Z-E-N. I just got one from Ari, so you will be up on the list. And uh, once we finish this current queue of five people, I'll check the phone again. And then we will have uh, an idea of the second round of, of, of queue. Trevor, are you here? I saw you earlier. It was something poo or something like that. Do you have a question for the guards? Hi, Lauren. I see you. Will One Direction reunite? Probably not. Maybe for like a 20 year anniversary show. You're welcome. You are welcome, Brienne. Um, and anybody who's taking the time to general about new face of life, you got it, Trevor. Anybody who's taking the time to comment a question, you can save yourself the energy, and uh, you don't have to. You don't have to say it because I'm not going to read it. Just, just putting that out there. You know, setting a boundary. It's healthy. Uh, just so you know, this this outfit was brought to you by the thrift shop. So, uh, shouts out to your local thrift store. Trevor says, general, reading about the new phase of life. You got it, my guy. Let me show up these cards. Cut the deck. Clear the energy. Draw two. I'm going to drink some water while I show you these cards. First up. Trevor, here you go, the High Priestess, Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Wands in reverse in the root. I'm feeling this energy heavy this evening regarding your new phase in life and the direction you should be moving. My voice is cracking, this tr truth is so exciting. <laughs> the, the message from the cards, look at that hat, tight message from the cards what we're receiving this evening regarding your new space in life and the chapter you're moving into very much encouraging you to establish a deeper level of connection but also bringing more ritual aspect to it so creating or 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 um committing to a consistent practice that allows you to tap in to your connection with your heart, your truth, your mission, why you're here to live here on this planet and be you. The high priest is very much representing this energy, this connection to your deeper sense of being. 
and also priestess energy having paths portrayed out before oneself so that you may continuously cultivate this level of existence so whether it be like through going to the gym and if you're if your experience going to the gym and exercising is a practice of devotion, devotion to yourself, your health, your well-being, the people around you, the relationships you build at the gym, you know, connect that with all that you got. Continue to do so if you're not so already. Whatever you may be doing, maybe also picking up new practices like free writing when you first wake up, just picking up a journal and just writing whatever comes to you for like a page or two. Yeah, that's from a book. I'm blanking on the name right now. I think it's called the Artist Way, but um, it's called free writing, and it's called they call it morning pages, and just like picking up a new thing and that allows you to connect to deeper aspects of yourself. Are you still holding on to things that you're ready to let go of as you step into this new state of your life? Basically, as what I'm getting from this card, the Nine of Wands. What areas of your life are you ready to let go of as you're stepping into this new state? What are you ready to release? What are you ready to surrender? What are you ready to sacrifice? What aspects of yourself are you ready to let go? And how can you do this with every breath by creating new patterns, new programs to move on to rather than the ones that are holding you back from your truth and the ones that are allowing you to move into and you know you feel it in your body, that passion that will ignite, ignites the flame, that which ignites the flame in your heart. Move towards that, that spark. Keep moving towards that. Light your path. Send your way. You got it, my dude. Trevor, it's all up to you. <laughs> remember that there's no concluding message. Remember that there's no mistakes. There's no wrong or right. As, as to say, bring up the cliche from the first reading. Take no shit. Do no harm. Keep doing what feels right in your body. That one ignites that spark in your heart. So you can overwrite these patterns and programs and conditioning that are holding you back from your divinity. Because it's time. All right, Trevor. Thank you. You're welcome. Lauren. Lauren, Lauren. You are up, Lauren. Do you have any questions or, or specific uh, uh, topic, theme that you would like to discuss this evening? questions that you'd ask, like, like to ask the cards. <clears throat> Trevor, if you want to catch the replay of this, you can get it on my YouTube in like a day or two. Appreciate you being here. I really like that message. I feel like that can apply to a lot of people. I wish you, I wish you grace along your journeys. Yeah, I love that word so much these days. Grace. I wish you grace. <clears throat> and like saying I wish you is different than like I hope you have. Yeah. I'm open to what comes through, what I need to know now. You got it, my dude. Cards, what would you like to share with our friend Lauren tonight? Let's get to it. Cut the deck. Clear the energy. Draw two. Lauren, first and foremost, we have the three of swords. <clears throat> Three of Swords in reverse. We have the Star. We have the Three of Cups. And the Root. Three of Hearts in reverse. The Star. Three of Cups in the Root. Before we dive in, I'm going to answer your question. Coco, I am Coco, Yoko, is there a line up for readings? There is a queue. If you would like to jump into queue, you can drop a donation to Gavin Zen, G-A-V-I-N-Z-E-N, cash out Venmo. We're going to keep flowing with it. Right now we're reading for our friend Lauren. And Lauren, the reason why we see this three of swords in reverse in the draw, what I'm getting is potentially you're moving out of this space of heartache and you're moving into a state of celebration. Three of Cups here reminding you this. And the star here encouraging you to remember the cosmic essence of everything, honestly. Not only is your body that you inhibit and operate 
uh, and your instrument of divine grace made out of the same materials of the stars, all the same energy and matter that came from the beginning is what orchestrates your fleshly organism. Do not forget this, the majesty of this and how simply experiencing a body is miraculous. It's important to feel the heartache, but it's also important not to get trapped in it. And so now I feel like you're on the precipice of moving into um, healing, let's say. Healing indeed. And a big part of this healing is remembering your cosmic essence and remembering that everything is written in the stars, ultimately. And also, a star aspect of what I'm getting at this is, since it's not the sun card, it's not so personal. The star card then more so saying it's in a sense of sociable energy. So maybe even though you've experienced heartbreak, it's time to put yourself out there in some uh, level. Not necessarily romantic, but just connecting with other beings. I like the lights. Thanks. <clears throat> the star here is also allowing you to remember that not only you are made of the same stuff as the stars, but also are the people around you. And it's time for you to find your star family because we're out here. We're out here. You're not the only one. And your, your people are ready for you to connect and to celebrate life with. You don't have to be so sad and alone. It's, it's very important for you to feel those feelings and to do that work personally. Because you can't place your uh, responsibilities of healing onto any other people. Uh, at the same time, I feel like you've been doing that work. And now it's very much uh, important for you to put yourself out there. And to connect with your stars. Your star sisters, brothers non-binary beings and celebrate life with groovy lauren groovy lauren i'm very curious to hear um your feedback and i wish you um an absolutely enjoyable uh, an absolutely enjoyable time yeah this is speaking about her that came from a potential star family i see i see yeah can you forgive them can you release can you move forward and maybe just realize that that wasn't the right timing continuing 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 levi was asking about romance regarding one's interest in a woman who is not necessarily in relationship with. Yes? Levi, are you still here? Working on it. Hey, one breath at a time. We do what we can. I'm, I'm working on it as well. I feel you, my dude. It's a challenge. It's, I love being by myself. <clears throat> it's a challenge. Be easy on yourself. Levi, what's up? Groovy. You can re request a reading. <laughs> All right, Levi, you are up next, my guy. I do remember your question. All righty, before we get into it, Heart of Alexandria asks, how do I ask for a reading, send money? You can do so by dropping a donation to the Cash App or the Venmo, Gavin Zen, G-A-V-I-N-Z-E-N. -E Stick around, get yourself a snack, maybe come back in you know, five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I think there's like three to five people on the queue right now. I'm going to keep going with it. Up next is Levi. And Levi would like to know. What's up, guards? Do you have a message for his love interest? Let us see, let us see. The shuffle wants to get to it. You're going to cut the deck. And clear the energy you draw to. Yes. First up is Page of Swords. In reverse. We have the her Hermit in reverse as well. Blue-eyed hippie. I don't understand your comment, but... Um, Adrian. Yes, exactly. You spelled it properly. And Temperance. Also all in reverse. Page of Swords. The Hermit, Temperance. All these cards are in reverse. Oh, you're commenting to someone else. Alrighty, alrighty, Kaylee. Alrighty, Katie. I see you, I see you, I see you. Moving forward. Pardon me, pardon me, my apologies. I thought you were talking to me personally, and I was like confused, because I was like, nah. I mean, that's very sweet, but you don't have to say that. Anyway. Levi, you have the Temperance card in the Root in Reverse. You have the Page of Swords in Reverse. You have the Hermit card in Reverse. Let me just show you all these cards right side up. 
Temperance and the Root. Page of Swords. The Hermit. The fact that all these cards are in reverse, I'm very much getting this message that it's time for you to step in this direction to anchor these energies and turn them upright and then learn how to um, build your own relationship with these archetypal energies and cultivate this space within yourself. The Page of Swords is just kind of like that adventurous spirit, but also not necessarily so wild and free. It still has its feet grounded, but it's moving in the direction of its intuition and what feels right within. This hair in the wind. Look at that gorgeous being. Hermit card is very much per a card of encouraging solitude. Taking time for yourself to just be by yourself with yourself. Asking yourself, especially in regards to this romantic question, why is it that you want a relationship and what is it that you are here to do? Temperance card telling you to take it easy a little bit especially just in reference to this and you said that uh regarding uh it's your interest in a woman who's not necessarily yours are you coming on too strong is she showing interest listen to the sims listen to the signs and maybe don't you know put all of your eggs in one basket don't get so attached allow yourself and allow that person to breathe how are you projecting yourself into this space and what is your intention for creating a relationship with this individual i feel the cards are encouraging you to kind of uh, switch your energy in a new direction especially since they're all in reverse and the, the big card of the hermit and <laughs> the hermit maybe it's time to do some more of that personal work checking on yourself yes i think that's uh, i think that's the move for you levi blue-eyed hippie if you, I do appreciate you saying this. Um, you could ask me a question in the Q&A section, and then I could pin it. I'd appreciate you doing that. That's a great idea. Um, nonetheless, Levi, I, I get it. I'm a very passionate individual. I love a lot, and this is something I'm learning because not everybody's open to receiving, especially people who I'm interested in. It's, uh, it takes balance. It takes lessons. And, um, like I said, you don't have to put all your eggs in one basket too soon. Let the, let the, let the relationship build and then breathe into that excitement and eagerness and enthusiasm you have for the connection and let the experience unfold organically rather than, um, putting too much energy into it. Sit with it. And we're going to keep flowing. Next up is Laura. And, uh, Laura... <clears throat> Laura requested a general reading, so we're gonna we're gonna flow with it. Laura, are you still here this evening? After after Laura, we will check the phone and we will see who else jumped in the queue. Levi, you are welcome, my dude. I wish you um, peace and ease. Take some time to get know yourself and uh, do your thing. Equal Dasco. I don't know if you are the the same Laura that dropped the donation. Uh, the, the one that drops a donation just said uh, a general reading. Whatever message wanted to show up this evening. So we're going to keep moving forward. Shuffle the cards a little bit and clear the energy from the previous reading. Maybe drink some water. Are you the one? Are you quoted that school? Oh, I see you. I see you. My bad. El Cordasco. That's right. You're true. Okay. My bad. I apologize, my dude. I got you confused. I did get you confused. Relationship ended. Did I make the right decision? Will true love find me? All right. Let's focus. Back to it. She says relationship recently ended. Did she make the right? Did you make the right decision? Will true love find one? Let's see what this says. Hey, Mr. K. How are you doing today, dear? All right, well, Cordasco. 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 That's how I want to say your name. I love reading people's names and not knowing how it's pronounced. Because it's fun to learn. Anyway, my dude. 
Here's for you. Let me focus. We're gonna cut the deck. We're gonna clear these images. We're gonna draw two this evening regarding this decision. A relationship ending. What do you think? We have the chariot in reverse. We have the four of cups making a return upright. King of swords in the root. You ask, your relationship you just ended, did you make the right decision? Will true love find you? The chariot in reverse, four of cups, king of swords. To answer your question directly, I see a very optimistic answer regarding will true love find you? And did you make the right decision? Chariot card here in reverse is just sort of hinting at this movement in a new direction, very much encouraging you to allow yourself to sit back as a charioteer driving it, remembering that you didn't make the decision and this is your decision. Even if you didn't necessarily make the decision to end it, you can choose how you enact from here and to keep moving in that direction. This relationship has ended. I'll ask to close and then move towards that true love that you see, that you that you're open to that you wish to receive. At the same time, take this time to be with yourself, to sit by yourself, to ponder what it is that you have to learn from this experience. Take your time by yourself, sit with yourself, sit underneath a tree. Develop a relationship with yourself. Hold your blessings, count your blessings. So back into your body, wield your power. Do not settle for anybody when it comes to connecting with people on a romantic level once again. Do not settle. If you're gonna, if you're gonna commit to a relationship, allow it to empower you and allow you to empower them. Yes, you dearly do, truly deserve to value yourself. So take this time to continue to cultivate your self-love and realize you don't need anybody because you are the shit. Yes. Yes. Take care of yourself. Take time for yourself to care for your body. Lately what I've been doing is uh, seeing my body and and from a from a space that isn't so uh, attached and identified and learning how to develop relationship with my body as if it were another person take this time to take care of yourself like that do the things take yourself on dates do the things that bring you pleasure and learn how to develop that unconditional self love within not saying that you have to have that finalized or anything before committing yourself to yourself to someone again but Take this time to, to refresh. Alrighty, Groovy. I'm gonna now check the queue because the round one of the readings has completed. So I'm gonna check my device over here and see who else jumped in for a donation and wants to get a reading this evening. If you wanna jump in the queue, you're more than welcome to by dropping a donation to Gavin Zen. G A V I N Z E N Gavin Zen. Cash App Venmo. PayPal is also accepted. They're all in the bio if you didn't catch that. And we're gonna keep flowing with this. Thanks for being here, my dudes. Wow. This is definitely grand. Oh shoot, I think I have to jump off here. I didn't realize the time. Hold on one second. If that happens, then I will refund those who um, didn't get their reading, but I have a phone call planned. Nope, okay, good, we have an hour. Whew, whew, whew. My friend in South Africa and I have a call planned and uh, it's 9 a.m. over there. Well, it's 8 a.m. now, but um, we're planning on having a call at 9 a.m. so I'm not gonna stay on too late today. I'm not gonna refund you because I'm gonna be able to read for you, my dudes. So stick around. Remember to check in with your breathing. 
Maybe tune into your heart. Maybe bring your hand to your chest and feel the rhythm of your heart. Close your eyes and bring your awareness within. Give yourself a second to get off the screen. Exhale. Sigh of relief that we're in no rush to get anywhere and all is happening in perfect timing. Uh, I'm so glad that y'all are here today. Thank you for being here and sharing your energy with the space. And we are going to flow, my friends, my friends, my friends. Let me, I'm, I'm looking down because I'm checking the device. So just give me one second, my guys, my guys. Dude, I have so much caffeine in my system right now. It's awesome. I drink so much coffee. It's not as unnecessary. I don't have to drink that much coffee. Soon enough, I will give myself a break. Cool. All right, my dudes. We got a fair amount of you who jumped in. So we're going to get right to it. We're going to get right to it. Hope you got some water. Maybe a snack. And uh, yeah, remember to breathe. Ari, you are first up for round two. Are you here? Are you here? Ari. Are you Arya loves food? Asking how are you? Or is it another Ari? Regardless, I am grand. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm going to have some water and cheers to you. That's Ari, yeah. Yeah, Ari B. I thought so. I see you, Ari B. Greetings, greetings. After Ari B, we have I am Coco, we have Alexandria, we have Adrian, and then we have Brienne. And I think that might be it for the evening, so we're just going to get right to it, my dudes. Ari, do you have any specific questions for the cards? saying your name improperly because I... I see you. I see you. Do you have any questions for the cards this evening? I'm grand. <laughs> I'm grand. I'm grateful. I'm grounded in gratitude. I'm enjoying. Today's a beautiful day. How are you? How are you? How are you? I am very grateful to be here. And I'm wondering... Where is my twin flame? I am ready for him. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get to it. Ari says, where is my twin flame? I am ready for him. Let's see what the cards have to say. We're going to cut the deck. Clear the energy, draw two. We have the Seven of Cups here. Excuse me, Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. And the Star. Notice all these cards are in reverse. The Star is in the root. Very Star energy. We have the Star. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. 
Notice all these cards are in reverse. This is what they look like upright. The root card, the star. Seven of Pentacles in the draw. Eight of Pentacles in the draw. All right. Oh, based on the energy you just gave to me through your question and how you asked it, the cards are very much being a tease, telling you to slow down. You say, I am ready for him. Where is my twin flame? Like you demanded this very instant. The cards are telling you to trust the process. Yes, he is on the way. Do not worry. Do not worry. I'm seeing this sort of lesson, but right now take this time to really cultivate yourself, work on your practice, who it is, who, who it is you are. Know that you don't need to depend on anybody. You don't need anybody. You may be ready. Know that they're on their way and keep working, doing your thing. Trust in the cosmic timing, the stars, this twin flame, who you're ready to share your heart. Trust in the timing of the stars. It's all organic. You can't move the rhythm of the constellations. You gotta let it happen naturally. All in divine timing, honeybee. R-E-B. Know that and while you're working on yourself and while you're taking this time for yourself, take the time to enjoy the little things that just make you feel grateful, that make you feel alive, the treasures in your life. Really. Begin. Yes. Ooh, yes. Begin to slow it down. To slow it down and to trust in the process. Thank the gifts and allow the stars to move in their, org in their organic fashion. They don't move according to the clock and you cannot rush them. You got this, Ari. Yes, indeed. I didn't mean to come on too strong. Let me know you got this. Peace, my friend. I've worked seven years on healing. Keep going. Now it's your time to work on your healing and knowing that you can heal. Just a just a little um, a little little note for you. The card underneath the root was the lovers in reverse. I see that as an optimistic sign. Know that you can work on your healing with another other person as well. Keep doing it. We're healing our whole lives. Hi, Jess. Jess, hi, hi, hi. Fairly well. Hi, Irene. Greetings. Aria asked, "What are my big three? Could you guess?" And lately, I haven't done many lives lately, so that that explains it. I'm gonna do my best to get back into it at least once a week. Moving forward, I am Coco. Are you here? Are you here? Do you have a question for the guards? I am Coco. Are you here? And do you have a question for the cards? After you is Alexandria. After Alexandria is Adrian. Just whatever I need to hear at the moment. You got it, my dude. After Adrian, we have Brienne. Let's get to it. Shuffle the cards. And flow. We're going to cut the deck. Clear the energy you draw to. What do you need to hear this evening? I love that these cards made a reappearance. Even though we clearly shuffled them. We have the lovers here. And the draw. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Wands in reverse in the root. That's what it looks like right side up. That's what the Eight of Pentacles looks like right side up, also in reverse. And then we have the Lovers. Hmm. And for you, and for you, and for you. I'm seeing a very clear message to stop giving your energy to the best of your ability to all that which creates conflict in your life. That is what's obstructing your path and your determination to realize and remember that you can make love to this existence every moment of every day. It's a practice. It's a practice. It's a practice. It takes diligence. It takes perseverance. It takes perseverance. It takes resilience, consistency, 
continuation. But remember that every instant you have the ability to love this life and you can choose love every breath. Willpower indeed. You don't have to give your energies to all those that which create conflict or disturbances in your field, your force, your frequency. Of course, life happens and you have to you have to you have to adapt and you have to evolve and you have to honor these obstacles. But you don't have to let, have to let them hold you back. Remember that your care for yourself is key more than anything. And this will allow you to continue to have the capacity to make love for life. And the more that you care for yourself and evolve from within, the more you'll be able to continue to hold the space within your heart. And the more you do this within yourself, the more the world around you can do this. And this is how we create great shifts. Yes. Don't get lost in the sauce, my dude. Remember that you can choose what to do. It's all about you. You are the author of your life. And you can scribe out the story that you wish to tell if you want it to be a love story or a battle. And you can make love throughout the battle. It's 11-11 here in California. So shouts out to you and we're going to keep moving. I am Coco. Thank you for being here this evening. And I'm curious to hear your feedback on the reading. Alexandria, you're up next. And Alexandria, do you have any questions for the cards? Thank you, Irene. Brought to you by the thrift store. I love these dudes. I just I just found these knits and I was like, yes, yes, yes. Yes, and of course, commercial break, your soul is showing. Don't you forget. Yes. And so it is. Alexandria. Hi, no question. Just happy to be here. I appreciate you. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, general reading for you, I guess then. Get right to it. Don't forget your water. Appreciate you all the likes, the shares, the flowers. Just being here, hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an honor it is to be here doing this. Yeah. Alexandria, for you. Two cards in a root. <laughs> I'm going to say it's not a Virgo sun, Aria. Just to let you know, not a Virgo sun. I do have a Virgo north node, so a big part of my energy and work here is to ground. And I know I chose to be here on Earth for a reason, because Virgo is very much tied to the earthly energy. Alexandria, we're going to cut the cards. We're going to clear the energy we're going to draw to. My dude, look at this. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Irene, I did receive your postcard. I've been meaning to talk to you about this. Yes, thank you for the birthday card. Please stop sending me all the confetti. <laughs> I love you so much. No, I don't need all those little bits of paper all over my bed when I'm opening the letter. <laughs> it's like a prank and I love you for it. Next up. Alexandria, we have the Four of Swords. Then we have the King of Swords in the root. Alexandria, we have the Nine of Swords. Four of Swords. King of Swords. All of that, all of that air energy, all of the sword energy, you know, it doesn't always happen that way. My birthday just happened, by the way. My body, my body's birthday it just occurred. My body turned 25, according to Gregory's calendar. Alexandria, <clears throat> what does it mean, right? Mm. I'm getting very um, reassuring energy from this reading, from these cards. There's many layers to this. We'll begin. With learning the difference between sitting in stillness and grieving, simply witnessing and like actually moping over something, learning the difference. Not Aries, by the way, Arya, not Aries. So Alexandria, this card, Nine of Swords here in reverse, is very similar and akin to like a grieving, like someone crying in bed. Irene, no hints. 
<laughs> Just kidding, you can, you can help her out. Um, but I'm Alexandria, Nine of Swords here is a card of grieving. Four of Swords here isn't necessarily that same energy. You know, notice there's both the Four of Swords here cards, but showing this. Four of Swords here is more so just like laying on bed, almost putting to rest your worries, that which is calling you grief, putting that to rest and learning how to sit in peace with it. And learning the difference of simply sitting and grieving and moping and being sad over and simply just observing and witnessing and doing your best to do it without judgment, without projecting any expectation or attachment onto the experience and being sad about it, allowing yourself to be sad about it and feel those things, but not identifying with those emotions and allowing them to overtake your reality. King of Swords here is just sort of also amplifying and remembering and reminding you of this energy of the observer, the witness, sitting back into the experience and just witnessing it to the best of your ability without judgment, without attaching any expectation or attachment onto it. This is how you will minimize suffering within your own personal experience and then your own contribution to suffering along across the world. Be clear as you can with your communication to the best of your ability and do your best to listen and pick up on the messages as well, sit back and witness and follow the intuitions, but also the feelings within and that which allows you to step into your greatness as an individual. It's so important to grieve and to be sad over things, but at the same time, it's also important to just become at peace with it and allow those parts of your life to brief with the rest. That's my path right now, tis the season. Hey, the cards know it, dude. So I'm glad to hear this resonates and we're gonna keep moving forward. I really do appreciate you hearing today. Did you guys hear that back crack? That was a solid Ooh, adjustment. Oop. How you know? Because some gas has moved, so it popped a pocket. Good, align your body, that's key. Oh yeah, definitely, everything's a grain of salt. Everything's a grain of sand, you know, it can definitely resonate. So that's dope. Adrian, are you still here today? Adrian? Adrian in Europe, and then Brienne is next, and I think Brienne is going to be the last for the evening. Um, so Adrian, do you have any questions for the cards? Any questions for the cards? <laughs> Burping is a good sign. Gotta, gotta get that shit moving. As the, as the beautiful being Shrek always said, whatever out then in, right? Ooh, tarot reading is by whatever you can donate, right? Uh, we do 5 to the 5. Uh, requested suggested donation though I just said that Brienne is gonna be the last for the evening and that is the truth Brienne will be the last for the evening because uh, we have a time limit tonight Shrek is love Shrek is life as you know Irene. Adrian says I am here general reading I've been feeling out of tune for a while I got you my dude groovy Adrian you're here general reading Brienne I'll see you you're up next, and we'll be final reading. Aria, don't be sorry. Everything happens in perfect timing. We might be back here tomorrow. We'll see how we're feeling. Um, maybe Saturday, if not Tuesday by the latest. But I wanted to do this more. It's really, I do find a lot of joy in this. And um, yeah, it's important. It's important. Don't be sorry, though. Anyway, general reading for Adrian regarding one's current experience. Any clarity, any direct messages you'd like to communicate? It says they've been feeling lost for a little bit. Anything you can offer to assist them in this process? Let's cut the deck. Clear the energy, draw two. First and foremost, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords and Reverse as well. And the Root, my dude. King of Pentacles, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Seven of Swords and the Root in Reverse. You say you've been feeling lost for a little bit. Feel this card, Seven of Swords here in the Root in Reverse. Shows that the cards witness this, and they know that you've been struggling potentially, or you've been challenged. You, the sense of feeling lost feels heavy a lot of the times. It feels complicated, it feels tricky, it feels like you're carrying a lot on you. How can you transform 
these trials, these tribulations, these traumas into treasure? How can you find the message, the lesson within your current state of existence and what it's here to bring you? What, <clears throat> what are you here to receive from what you're currently learning? How can you find a deeper meaning within what's happening? That purpose within the sense of feeling lost? How, yes, dive deeper into the darkness basically is what we're getting at, right to it. To the core, to the core, to the core, get right to it. Dive into the darkness, dive into all the feelings, and allow yourself to experience the sensations and whatever it is. Allow yourself to release it and not get trapped in it. That's how you can transform that coal into a diamond. Practice alchemy, my friend. It's composting, turning shit into soil. Pure gold. Yes. Know that your efforts are recognized and you're encouraged to keep moving forward, but also how can you release all of this weight that you carry? One breath at a time. Every day we give our best. Adrian, you got this. You are stronger than you know. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and say that. Adrian, you got this, and you are stronger than you know. You're a powerhouse. I love you. Let's get to this. I know who I am. I know why I'm here. I know who I am. I know why I'm here. Groovy? Groovy. Cheers to you. Next to it, Brienne, you are here. Irene, I appreciate the roses. Thank you, dearly dear. Thank you, dearly dear. I owe you a gift. I want to get you a shirt. But I just said it. Peace and prosperity, my, 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 my pal. I wish you a beautiful day. What do you think I'm drinking, Debbie? Nonetheless, Brienne has a question and Brienne asks, do my parents know what's happening in my life and what do they feel about it? Very specific question. Adrian, I appreciate your comment. You are welcome, my dude. It's what we're here for. It's what we're here for. I receive it and reciprocate wholeheartedly. I receive and reciprocate wholeheartedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mango juice, that would be great. I wish I had a big gallon of mango juice. Brienne, are you still here? Anyways, we got your we got your question. I'm gonna give you the reading, and uh, you can catch the replay on the YouTube. The question is: Do my parents know what's going on in my life right now, and what do they feel about it? Kombucha would be great too. I haven't had kombucha in a while. I should start making my own. Cut the deck. Clear the energy. Draw two. <clears throat> All three of these cards have made an appearance tonight. I love this. I look forward to watching this replay. And they're all in reverse. What's going on? A lot of reverse readings today. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. All in reverse. Check them out. That's what they look like. Knight of Pentacles in the root. High Priestess. Eight of Pentacles. All right, my dude, Brienne, to answer your question, I guess it's not necessarily important to concern yourself whether or not your parents know what's happening and how they feel about it. If they, if they knew, if they, if they really minded, they would bring it up to you. And if you find it's necessary for you to bring it up to them, then you should definitely do so. Don't hesitate, but also just keep doing your thing. And also don't be afraid. If you feel it's important to bring it up in conversation, this will really allow you to step into that which your high priestess state of being, holding the space, opening up the space to converse and dive into these things that allow you to connect deeper on your family level. And allow you to recognize your purpose here on this earth and allow you to wield it in your hands and move forward with it like the horse underneath your feet. Pentacles here, earth energy, very much allowing you to step into your dreams, the horse moving forward, the knight being sturdy, strong, defensive to some degree, but not necessarily like afraid. High Priestess also bringing a more deeper, connected level to this. A level of sanctity and appreciation for what it is that you're going through. 
<clears throat> keep doing your thing and you don't have to concern yourself so much about anybody's opinion whether it be your parents or not but do remember that if you feel like you're in a situation because like you gave me a very vague uh, context for this question if you feel that it is necessary and you're needing assistance and it's important for you to reach out to them do so at the same time if you feel like that might be harmful or dangerous to do so don't don't put yourself in harm's way but seek and know that there are avenues and connections for people to talk to to relate with and potentially alleviate or get yourself out of the situation that you're in like i said there's not much context and i haven't seen any comments so i'm gonna guess that you're not here but here's the reading so i hope this finds you well i hope this finds you well and i hope you can follow your heart and choose yourself more than anything groovy brian thanks for thanks for the reading i hope you catch this replay to everybody else here today wow well, do you have any thoughts on that did that did that feel some type of way for anybody and uh yeah from moving forward that will be it for the evening i appreciate y'all being here tuning in hanging out kicking it sharing your likes your shares your comments your energy your presence even if you've just been sitting back and just watching from afar i see you too i uh, thank you Wish you all peace and prosperity, and I'll see you down the road, my dudes. Take care of yourselves. Eat some good food, drink some good water. Peace and prosperity. Godspeed, you beautiful beings.